Hello and welcome back to Caves of Cud. We are in the asphalt mines. Honestly, I'm a little bit... I'm a little bit uh, apprehensive about this one. Um, I mean, the asphalt mines are pretty chill for the most part, but I have also died here a couple of times. It's It's been known to happen. Uh, the place is not without its dangers. And I think the most dangerous part about it is actually... And I don't, I don't, I don't, I mean this respectfully, respectfully, the asphalt mines are boring. I, I, I really, they really are. Oh God. We just picked up 33 drams of oil. Uh, we, you really do be, uh, like traveling. Can we make a nano pneumatic jackhammer? You, you do be going 20 meters or 20 strata underground. And it's just, it's just so much you know it's so much i really should learn how to make a nano nomadic jack jackhammer so i don't have to um carry one anymore apparently there are hostels nearby so let's go ahead and dispense those so that i can cook up a meal um do we know about do we have just like a basic like uh psychometry one doesn't look like it so let's oh, we don't have any bananas oh, we do have some bananas i don't know why i don't know why i thought I, we had no bananas okay psychometry um let's go ahead and learn how to make a nano pneumatic jackhammer uh while we're at it disassemble that Masterwork Jacked is really nice. It sucks to get rid of that, but it's really been weighing us down. Um, can we learn how to make any of these? Oh yeah, let's learn how to make thermoelectric cells. This is like the perfect place to learn how to make exactly that thing. Because we can now just like get the money. Get the money, you know? Can we learn how to make this? Too complex. Okay, we can't learn how to make eigen, eigen rifles, unfortunately. Not that it matters too much because I wouldn't, you know, the, the scopes is really the valuable part of that. Uh, okay, we know how to make precinct navigator, so let's go ahead and not disassemble that because it's like one pound and it doesn't save us anything. Can we, like, scale two faced woolly? Oh, God. Okay, so this is, we can't mod that anymore. Is there anything we could mod? To make it weigh a little bit less like nope not that most of our things are named what is what is a this is jacked chain link wow we could probably mod that a few times actually fitted with beam splitters would actually be hilarious overloaded doesn't it yeah it means it can break i don't i'm not a huge fan of that i can't believe i haven't modded this with like masterwork or fitted with beam splitter Randomly teleports its target one to four tiles away on a successful hit. That would be hilarious. Um, fire of rate of fire is increased, but it requires pure water to function when fired. There's a one in ten, 11 chance that one dram is consumed. That would be kind of fun. Let's throw, let's throw masterwork on it. And that means it's going to require an AI microcontroller. And that means I'm done. I kind of wanted to, what? Yeah, this thing is 20 pounds. Putting Slender on that gun would have actually been really nice. Uh, Slender on Flawless Crystal Gauntlets would be kind of cool, but that's an AI microcontroller. Uh, it's kind of a bummer. We can't really save all that much weight. But that's fine. Uh, I'm not going to, like, yeah, unless it says uh, Vast Animus, I'm not, really not going to make much effort to explore all of these zones. I want to be done with this as quickly as possible. It's already going to take a long time. I guess I could just Spiral Bore. Oh, God. Hey, there's another... Oh, God, is there a Legendary on this floor? Uh, yeah, there's something on this floor. Um, I don't know what your deal is. Why was there a second vast animus? 
I'm not gonna ask questions. Maybe they had temporal fugue. I don't know. That's a kind of an odd one. I could spiral bore. You know, um, let's use the Galen method. I know that, like, I don't know if... I think I came up with this, to be honest, but I can't remember. I'm not going to take credit, necessarily. Let's just say it was Galen's idea. Um, but I'm going to dig into the ground over here with some... Uh, I'm just going to do it, like, with our stinger. I think I actually have a better chance of digging through it with our, uh, yeah, with, with our laser. Okay. And then I'm going to tinker up a spiral bore. Forgive me for this one. Uh, I really don't think it matters too much. Because, you know, who, who who thinks that the asphalt mines are honestly, like, worth the time and effort? We go 20 strata deep. I'll occasionally put some time and effort into killing some random goons. Vast Animus. All right, well, we'll go out of our way to kill a Vast Animus when I see it come up. Because uh, free ego is free ego. Where are you? Where are you, Vast Animus? There you are. Oh, he did. He actually did some damage to me and then died very very quickly let's just do a rest that was uh that was a lot more damage than i intended to take 14 strata another vast animus we'll take a break from descending and kill a vast animus oh there they are is that a grave robber why are they not cool with me I might have accidentally hit them. Uh, they're worth 650 XP. I think I incinerated all of their belongings. That kind of sucks. 16 strata, 17 strata, 18 strata, 19 strata. All right. And Pax, puff on you. Whoops. Toggle power devices off. No, 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 no. Turn that on. Puff spores. There we go. Encrusted skin, infected crust of skin on your back loosens and breaks away. Cool. Uh, let's go ahead and throw our rainbow weave back on and a recoil to grid gate. So I think next up is uh, Tomb of the Eaters. There's a couple things I want to do before we go there, but. Uh... Hello, Barathrum. Um, I convinced Pax Clank to construct the climber. Please take this as a token of my gratitude. Got a quantum moat. Very nice. We will wear that once I... Spoiler redacted. Spoiler, spoiler redacted, you know. Um, the climber de design relies on the use of electromagnets to interface with the planet's magnetic field and generate torque. Unfortunately, the spindle generates its own interfering field, perhaps as a mechanism to prevent unwanted ascension. Our aim is to access the spindle's control unit and disable the field. How we accomplish this, however, is an enigma. From disparate bits across the archives of the Digitum, Ershkigal has stitched together a cryptic but instructional brocade. She's learned the field can be turned off from a place called Bright Shoal. Located in the Thin World and accessible only through Reshef's tomb inside the Tomb of the Eaters. Strange this, and imprecise, but as tinkers we know, a crude blueprint is better than no blueprint. You must return to Amenporuk and enter the Tomb of the Eaters. Once inside, trace the errant paths cut into the mausoleum by robbers and vandals, and ascend to Reshef's burial chamber. 
As for gaining entrance to the tomb, Reshef sealed the gates a thousand years ago, but there's a flaw in the seal. The ancient mark of death has been lost to time. But if you were to recover it and incise the mark on your body, the death gate would open for you, as it did for countless eaters, uh, eater cadavers in the long blurred past. Recover the mark of death, Nimashram, enter the tomb and cross into Bright Shoal. Place your paws once again on the dial and drum. I will enter the tomb of the eaters as you ask, as I hoped you would, Nimashram. Uh, take this disc with the signal enc encoded, just in case, and take this tattoo gun for when you recover the mark of death. You'll want to bring a pickaxe too, or some other instrument for digging through stone. And beware, the tomb is a vast and ancient space, and sacred to many. I cannot speak to what you will experience there. I will heed your warning. Stamped data disc with signal encoded and a tattoo gun. Receive a new quest. Tomb of the Eaters. Carrying too much to... <laughs> um... So, I don't know. Is now a good time to go to eat Freehold? Now is about the time I would. You know? It is it is about the time I would go there. Because, like... I don't know. When? Like, I understand the best... The, the canonical time, in my opinion, is after you go to the Tomb of the Eaters. But I, I don't know. I feel like I have delayed long enough. Um, and really the best reason I want to go to the Tomb of the Eaters, uh, sorry, the eat, to eat Freehold, is because I would like to just start dumping our stuff. You know, like, uh, I've, I've had enough junk lying around. I would like to start actually trading. I'd like to maybe finally use our metamorphic polygels and uh get our cloning draughts you know together and uh multiply our tillies all of that stuff um we'll make one more you know trip here uh what is happening are you guys no you guys aren't feuding we're very nearly level 30 and i would love to hand in our uh our books and our reshef lore but we're just not there yet very close I don't know. Um, we're so close. Okay, shoemaker. Let's. Uh, we want our data disc. Schematics drafter. I just need scoped. Really is the best thing I want. Lantern. Pa. Pa and ba and don't want it. Um, spring turret grenades. I've already used those. Like the the they're they're. Their desired need has come and gone. They're no longer that useful to me. Let's check out our other skim drafter. What do you got? This is all kind of nothing. Precision nanon fingers are nice, but I'm lacking AI microcontrollers. Uh, so this is the farthest, just about the farthest I've ever made it in classic mode. It bears mentioning this. This is the farthest I've made it in classic mode. The last time I made it this far, uh, I decided to take extra protective measures um, against going, like I, I wanted to make sure I was truly prepared for the Tomb of the Eaters. So I went to ruin diving instead, right? I went ruin diving and um, got lithofexed. That was a long time ago. It's been a very, very long time since I played um, classic mode, and it's been a very long time since I made it this far in classic mode. It feels pretty good. I'm, I, you know, I feel pretty good about my victories and my achievements. Um, about my, you know, there's been a culmination of a lot of my knowledge in the game. Um, so I'm very happy with that. I think that, like. In many ways, I have uh, the perfect build. There's a couple of things I would like to change up. Uh, actually, I'm not sure. I think the only thing I would like would be Flawless Crystal Coronet. That's basically it. The only other thing, like, I, I, I'm gonna have to, you know, I would have to mod it with Two-Faced because I, I will not I will not 
take this thing off that gives us temporal fugue we're definitely gonna want kessel face yeah we're done you know period we're, we're gonna want you know kessel face for sure um so like those are are necessary um we can't really up our av all that much though i'm pretty sure flawless crystal will be maybe four av probably it might even be only three which means our AV is only going to be maximum uh, 15, which is not really great in my opinion. That being said, I mean, we have force bubble and like a never ending, uh, you know, laser gun. Like it's pretty good. We don't need to have high v AV. I think if we're taking a lot of damage, if we're taking a lot of hits, we're doing it wrong. Uh, we have temporal fugue. We have force bubble we have clairvoyance we have everything we need to play things cautiously and uh we uh, you know to to avoid unnecessary risks but i kind of want to do um the slime the one that uh, the the slime in uh tomb of the eaters that side quest kind of would like to do that not sure why like what would we take I guess I'm not really using the hologram bracelet anymore. I'm using force bracelet or for, you know, force field when uh, the opportunity comes up. So I'm, you know, we could take an arm item, but I, I you know, we got to do, uh, I, I forget what the, the something gall. I can't remember the, the slime in the tomb of the eaters. We got to do that. You know, like I haven't actually done it for myself. <laughs> like I've, kind of walked other people and you know, i've walked galen into doing it uh and i've watched narf do it but i haven't done it myself so you know i would like to take um take a moment and do it do it for myself um we're finding all kinds of ruins i keep like trying to leave one ruin and then discovering another ruin oof it's a lot of uh, saps Can we leave? Yeah, we can. So I am heading to more ruins, huh? I should, you know what I should do, honestly? Let's um, take off this hologram bracelet and put on our precinct navigator and also mod that with jacked and slender, I suppose. Sure. Uh, I guess it only weighed one, didn't it? Now it's free. Okay, well, uh, maybe not a good use of that. Can we, what can we mod this with? Slender, uh, that's an AI microcontroller. Not doing that. Um, but yeah, having extra nav data would be good. What is all of this stuff? Legendary Sultan Croc. Slime Bog. Kagalep, Hydropon. Oh yeah, we have to go to the Hydropon. We definitely have to go to the Hydropon. Okay, we were going to get lost at least once, so this is fine. We've got ourselves a legendary vo a Greater Voider. Uh, they are friendly. They are loved by Arachnids, disliked by Fungi, but that's fine. We'll get a little bit more um, reputation with the Arachnids. What kind of reputation do they like, I wonder? Um, just gossip. Do they have any cool trade? Not really. So, yeah. I mean, cool find. Cool random find. Yeah, let's go to... We're, we're finally here in Eat Freehold. Um, I was going to pick up our chest in the six-day stilts, but we couldn't because it would be super encumbered if we did. So we're just going to hang out here for a moment. Uh, I'm going to buy myself a, a recoiler. Let's go do that real quick. We can start buying micro AI microcontrollers. What do you mean a vast animus? What do you mean there's a vast animus here in Eid Freehold? That is scary. I don't like that at all. Let's buy this small stone. Chiral rings are kind of nice. Oh, we can't wear those straight up. 
Uh, I also like Willowy. Sherp is kind of completely pointless, but we buy we buy the data the mods anyway because occasionally you'll find a Betel that requires it. Hey, there's an nanomatic jackhammer. Oh, we don't need that now. I don't know why I would even consider buying that. Uh, there's our advanced toolkit. I, I don't like buying it, but we have so much money. I really don't care. We can just start doing this. By the way, I, I, it occurred to me maybe last episode or a couple episodes ago, the reason we want Neutron Flux is for the next quest after Tomb of the Eaters. So uh, we still we buy them even if we aren't going to use them. So, hey, realizations are good. Um, all right, let's go check out Tilly. Is that a farmer's daughter? Not kind of not a huge fan of this Eid right so far. Uh, this is a little bit spooky. No, uh, love injector is cool. I wish you had some pickled mushrooms. What do you have, Tilly? You got some weird artifacts and a small trinket. Um, let's go ahead and like put a campfire right here and uh, cook from a recipe. Do our sun dried recipe. Um, and, uh, control F, Y, L, K, um, this is going to be a few times doing this, control F, Y, L, nope, L, K, control F, Y, L, K, uh, you flush with the understanding of an airfoil grenade and a grav chair, oh, cool. But also, um, clay pot. I guess that was a small trinket. Huh. Not much going on here. We could buy the topaz gemstone. Um, I guess I'll throw some fermented tongue in there. I don't it, I don't really plan on ever using that tongue based effect. It's kind of cool, but uh, I don't think it's for me. Okay, uh, there is a nuclear cell. I don't like really buying cells, but I'd rather have one than not. Let's just go ahead and uh, throw a water skin of cider at that. Cool. Um, so we have four po metamorphic polygels, three cloning drives. So that's going to be six, 12, 24, 48. I think that's enough. I think that's, I think that's enough. Um, by the way, let's, let's go ahead and throw, pour this into an actual proper water skin. Pour it into another container. Water skin. Applicator. Metamorphic. Apply. Uh, metamorphic. No, why? <laughs> don't apply it to the metamorphic polygel. That would just be strange. I don't even know if you, I don't know if there's. Can you do something with that? I don't think so, right? Okay, apply it on the water skin of cloning draught. Then we consolidate, pour into another container. This one, three drams, six drams, inventory, applicator, metamorphic, apply. Um, cloning draught, E. There we go. Inventory, cloning draught, V, pour, another container, water skin, six drams, metamorphic, use, apply. Um, water skin of cloning draught, apply. Water skin, pour, into another container. This one, 12. Cool. Uh, metamorphic. Apply. This is the last one. D. Water skin. 
There we go. Males will consolidate you. Pour into another container. This one, 24. It's a little bit scary, but once you get into the pattern of it, it's not too bad. So there we go, 48 drams of cloning draught. Now, water skin, <laughs> cloning draught, pour, uh, nearby, Tilly, one dram. Um, gonna go ahead and, I mean, yeah, let's just like wait for it to happen a little bit here and um, we're gonna line them up i liked the way that worked in uh galen's game that was that was fun okay water skin pour nearby tilly one dram hate that it defaults to like everything i'll stand right here to make kind of like increase the odds of it spawning in the right place there we go uh, water skin. I'm gonna do like 10 tillies. I think 10 tillies is good enough. Port nearby. That one. One dram. Cloning draught. There we go. I know, like, you don't have to be here for this, I suppose. I could, like, I could do a quick highlight. Let's do it. I'll do a quick highlight. How about that? So you don't have to watch me do all of this. All right, so that's our Tilly's done. Um, they'll probably restock, uh, you know, when, by the time I come here next. I'm also going to do this to our tinkering friend over here. Um, I would like to, uh, I'd like to, you know, have goods, you know, like I'd really like to be able to just buy a bunch of microcontrollers when we need them. Um, so I'm going to walk this guy over here and then we're going to go ahead and start doing the same thing to them. And again, I'm going to do like maybe 10 of them. So uh, I'll see you soon. <laughs> okay. I think this is a nice little geometric pattern for BEP. So we got our little army of BEPs and I can uh, I can reach them all, uh, which is kind of nice. Uh, I'm gonna, let's go ahead and oh, we get some free gems in there. I always forget about that. And let's go ahead and throw in our uh, rough topaz. Uh, whoops. Go ahead and do that. And uh, there's one more thing I want to do. I think we... Do we not... I don't know if we know of a legendary bookbinder. Let's look at our merchants for a moment. Dromad, legendary hatter, uh, shoemaker. So maybe not. If we could find a legendary... We need to find an, a legendary Icker merchant, which would be nice. Uh, looks like we do know of a couple of legendary workshops, but those are kind of next on the on the our, our list. If we can go here, make friends with these lads, and um, and then um, gain some secrets from them, so that we can learn of other workshops, that'd be kind of cool. I want to find a legendary book. Uh, binder so that we can start getting some free reputation but yeah like um i'm starting to do like you know put the kind of pins in the in the in the wall for like how we uh how we progress here um one thing is i, I should double check to make sure have we like made friends with all of these lads hated by the daughters of exile and mopango wow i can't do either of those that's like really bad I am sensing a slowdown. I might need to restart the game pretty soon. Uh, Psychic Meridian, huh? Mac doesn't have uh, any reputation that I can really afford. Like, they don't have any reputation. Uh, what about Warden Une? Our favorite Warden Une. Uh, admired by the Denizens of Eid Freehold. Hated by the Petus Templar. Yeah, that makes sense. Let's uh, share a dram with them. I don't expect to make friends with the Petus Templar. Share some drams. I like making friends with the uh, wardens. It's just kind of nice. And eat freehold is an, uh, another good one. One thing is, uh, I'd like to real quick go and uh, visit the hydropon, just so that we have it. Oh, did I buy my? Um... I don't think I bought the. Yeah, we didn't. We didn't buy a, a, a our, our uh, recoiler. You 
carry so much. It's true, I do carry a lot of stuff, don't I? I'm not gonna do that just yet. Oh, can I take all this? Let's talk to Tha. Uh, I am Nim Nimu Shram. What manner of being are you? Is all well here? Well enough, we drink the sun's rays, eat what we scavenge, rest under the shell, and it is enough. I read and tinker, some hunt, others tend the cradle. Each day is like the next. Every so often someone leaves. We uh, rarely hear from the, from thereafter. I hope they are all well. You don't seem happy with the status quo. To be wholly honest, I grow frustrated. We are a young species, grow one by one in yonder sun-touched cradle. Over years, we have increased, but not uh, not grown. Look around you. You see it, yes? The hydropon is no settlement. How can I help? This is an ex existential quandrum, conundrum. I'm not sure that it could... Uh, wait, no, I'm, I'm reconsidering. Re you could help if you wished, I think. I don't believe my people wish to stay here, but we had we have had so little meaningful contact with other sapient creatures we have no allies we have nowhere to go but here you travel far and wide do you not you have the air of a traveling hero from the epics as such you have seen many settlements likely integrated uh ingratiated yourself to some if you were to intercede uh, on our behalf some might milk welcome us if uh let us say three settlements were a to offer a shelter this would grant us both direction and agency would you consider being our ambassador, not unpaid? I will help. I have, uh, I've been crafting a personal project of sorts. I promise it to, to you for this task. And of course, the gratitude of a young species. Re return to me after settlements agree to grant us refuge. And I will discuss them with my kin. Cool. Uh, now I will... This seems like a... Oh... Where's my phone again? I keep putting it in my pocket. I just realized... I didn't realize what the slinth were, but it kind of dawns on me what they are. This is, uh, this looks like, uh, one of the Eater's Tombs. Melted Reliquary. This is like one of the, the thing that you come out of. When you, uh, when you finish at the Tomb of the Eaters. I wonder if the slinth are basically only sentient because one of these was were like damaged and basically a plant grew in the kind of like weird cloning bath. That's really cool if that's if that's the case. Uh what is this? Thermo cask. Um we disassemble those. Thank you. I never really realized that. That's really neat how there's like a kind of built-in explanation for where the slinth come from. I mean, they are newly sentient, right? Like, you know, what, what's their deal? Where did they come from? Um, so let's go back to Eid real quick. I really meant to go and um, I, I meant to buy myself a recoiler. That was half the reason I came here, to be honest. Um, do, 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 do you have one? I guess not. Did I already examine it? Is it in tools? Maybe I, maybe I already bought one. I did buy one. Oops. Okay, we did buy one. Um, let's real quick, uh, mod it. Mod with tinkering, uh, give it slender. And also let's jam a high capacity radio powered solar cell in it. And then we're going to go ahead and recoil to Karuk. Um, and we're going to go to six day stilt and we're going to go and grab our stuff and dump it at eat freehold. Getting it down to the Tillies is going to be a fun adventure. I wish I had a reprogrammable recoiler, but it's one of the hardest things to obtain, truth be told. Let's grab this 288 pounds. Oh, good God. Jump over here and uh, <laughs> dump our crap here. Sorry, y'all. I'm moving in. Sorry about that. 
well uh that would basically do it for this episode um in the next episode where you might start that historic site in the jungle and i think i will go um visit some legendary merchants and see if maybe we can find ourselves a book binder um and then clone them a few times a few dozen times and then after that uh we could do the tomb of the eaters or we could just kind of uh, roam around cud uh try and get ourselves up to level 30 and um then hand in our books and our rush floor and then after that we might do tomb of the eaters because we'll be very comfortably uh around like level 35 um and then we can yeah we can just kind of like finish off the game but uh, anyway, if you are enjoying this series, definitely hit the like button and consider subscribing for more content like this. I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.